Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. Since the brand new Yellowstone Universe show, 1923, got released, our mood is merrier than ever. The past few weeks were especially enjoyable since each Sunday, we got not only 1923 but also Yellowstone Season 5 back to back. So for almost a month we had basically a Yellowstone marathon and we loved every second of it. Unfortunately, just like every other beautiful thing, this also had to have an ending as Yellowstone Season 5 Part 1 released its final episode last week. That's to say, from now on, we will have 1923 alone on Sundays, which is better than nothing. Even though the show released only three episodes so far, we already have a soft spot in our hearts for 1923. Why? Well, basically because the show makes us emotional whenever we watch it, not because of its scenario, but because of the topics it handles. The show might be the most action-packed Yellowstone series with non poetic script writing. It embraces the toughness of the natural conditions in Montana in that era, and that toughness reflects in the script as well. Even the heart-to-heart -heart conversations are not as impactful as the ones in 1883 or Yellowstone. So we are a little bit surprised by how emotional this show makes us with such heartless writing. How can we not get emotional though? The fact that there is a drought that kills everything, there is animosity between the ranchers who are all suffering from the same thing, people kill one another without any mercy, there are residential schools that assimilate Native Americans in the most inhumane and brutal way possible, there is trauma caused by war, and of course lots of love affairs that are challenged with various obstacles. In only three episodes, this show has managed to give a glimpse of all these subjects and made us sympathize with its characters. The events of episode 3 solidify that the real plot of the show now begins with some major changes in our characters' lives. That's to say, the 1923 episode 4 will be totally amazing. In the last week's episode, the fight between Banner and the Duttons took a highly violent turn, as the former decided to take his revenge most brutally. So he took a bunch of his men and attacked the Duttons when the family was heading somewhere altogether. The attack surprised them all as they did not know what to do for a second. And that second has been fatal for them. First Elizabeth got injured, then Jack, Jacob, and John Dutton Sr. also got injured. Unfortunately, John died during the attack, while Jacob's wounds allowed him to be brought home but left no hope for him to survive. Elizabeth and Jack seem fine, and yet we find it difficult to be happy for them since two of the family's patriarchs have faced death. Now things might look pretty terrifying so far, but we have to express that we don't think Jacob will die. We don't know how, but we are certain he will somehow survive this attack. He is played by Harrison Ford, and we don't think Taylor Sheridan would kill Ford's character in just three episodes. That being said, it's certain that John has died, meaning that there will be major changes in the family. For starters, his wife is depressed. Also, he had a major part in managing the range, which is a position that needs to be replaced. Besides, he didn't die from true natural causes. He got killed, meaning that a revenge plotline is on its way and someone needs to take the job to not leave John's blood on the floor. All these can only lead to one thing. Spencer Dutton will return to his family home in Montana. This is easier said than done. Spencer is a free man who requires his freedom to be saved from the haunting of past trauma, mostly caused by the war. Still, lately he has managed to compromise a little bit of his freedom by getting engaged to Alexandra, which is a huge step for him, showing that he might finally be ready to move on from his trauma. That being said, he is also going through many changes, he is about to get married and thus questions the safety of his environment in Africa. On top of all these, can you also add the possibility of moving back to the US? Well, in our opinion, if it was up to him, he would not return at this point. And yet, his brother is killed off, and he has no chance but to be there for his family and take the roles that his brother once had. Still, there will be lots of pressure on him to adapt to Montana and be a rancher rather than a hunter and adventurer. Besides, he will also be responsible for his wife's well-being and happiness in the U.S., which will be a little bit difficult to achieve since Alexander has no idea about American culture or lifestyle. All these combined, we can be sure that a very interesting couple of episodes are waiting for us in 1923. The number of these episodes can increase depending on how long it will take Spencer to return to Montana. Knowing the limited technology of the era, we can assume it might take months to go from Africa to the U.S., but recently, Sheridan seems to be liking time jumps in his shows. So we might have a time jump in episode 4, which starts from the time Spencer lands in the US, that would be an interesting watch. What do you think about Spencer's return to Montana? Do you think he is the man that Yellowstone Ranch needs right now? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.